Before going further with this graphic project, let's take a look at how to save it on your storage units. To do this, go to the File menu and select Save Project As. The shortcut for this action is displayed on the right. By default, your device's user folder will come up, but you can quickly get to the Assets folder by using the bookmarks on the left. Right now, this folder appears empty, even though it contains our PNG images and QuickTime animation. This is because there's a filter currently applied that's only showing AGP projects, AGP standing for Autograph Projects. Instead of saving our project in the same folder as our graphic elements, let's click on the button to go up one level in our folder hierarchy. Then, click on the New Folder button to create a new folder. You can rename this folder by right-clicking and selecting Rename. Let's name this folder Learning Autograph. Click on the Enter key and double-click on it to go inside the folder. We'll use the same name, Learning Autograph, to name the file as seen at the bottom of the browser. Here there's a plus and a minus button. If we add two underscores, followed by 001 in the file name, the plus and minus buttons allow you to automatically increase or decrease the file number. After clicking on the Save button, you can go back to File, Save Project As, select the file name, and click on the plus button to save a new version. Even though the project panel contains an Import Files button, Autograph actually connects to these elements without duplicating them in the project. If you reopen the browser, you can see that the Autograph project is only 20 kilobytes, which is relatively small. This project only contains references to external resources and does not contain the resources themselves. If you were to move an Autograph project from one device to another, you would need to move both the Autograph project and the graphic elements it uses. We'll see how to perform this operation using the Collect Files in Project feature later on. The top right of the interface always displays the name of the current project. It shows both the folder it's in and the project name itself. Since this file name has a number, you can use the Increment and Save Project command. If you look at the project name at the top right, you can see that in one step we got to version 3 of this project. The icon to the left of this folder and file name lets you directly open the current folder where the project is located. It's the same folder hierarchy, Tutorial Beginners, Learning Autograph. The lock file next to it may indicate to any other open autograph sessions that we're editing this file. If you close this project using File, Close Project, you can see that this lock file has disappeared. To reload a recently opened or saved project, simply go to File, Recent Projects to see a list of all the projects you've recently accessed, with the most recent one at the top. The home screen, which is accessible through the button at the top left of Autograph's interface, also contains a Recent Projects section but this one contains thumbnails of all the projects to help you identify a project to reload more easily. When saving a project, Autograph captures an image of your viewer and integrates this image into the project file, making it much easier to quickly identify projects. In this video, we went over how to save multiple versions of a project, create new folders, and reload recently opened projects. 